Hey, today we are going to talk about a massive elite spawn rate, hell ties event exploit, and much more. First and foremost, let's chat for a second. The last video I had uploaded was very slow in terms of me talking, and yeah, the reason for that is, well, I barely had any sleep between editing, recording, and working um, at my job, so... Yeah, that's the main reason, guys. And so I try my best to create videos that are helpful and straight to the point. And that video prior was absolutely not it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the best XP and elite spawn rate in Diablo 4. And I think you guys are going to enjoy this quite a lot. If you head over here towards Marinaire's Refuge, this is going to be where we need to travel to from this point of interest right here, which... I honestly don't know how to pronounce this point of interest, so I'm not going to even take a shot at it. Once you are here, you can then just go inside like you would with any dungeon, of course. The only difference here is we sort of just want to dash past the first enemy, and you're going to see that right at the start of the dungeon here once it does fully load in. Now that we are here, I'm going to be showing you a few things within this video, and I'm going to cut up the clips in certain sections just to show you what you're going to expect. Now, as I mentioned prior, we want to skip past this first enemy here and head straight to this first group. You then want to go forward a little bit more, and this is where I'm going to cut the clip up. You will see this group here, there's about two to three elites, and then if you proceed up a little bit more, this is where things get a little bit interesting. There's a large group here, and I'm telling you, they're packing a punch over here. You then want to go towards the bottom left, and make sure that you have claimed the shrine, because of course that's going to boost up your uh, damage, or possibly give you a cooldown uh, reduction. So we just want to go over here towards bottom, take out this group. There are some elites here as well. I mean, this whole dungeon is pretty much packing when it comes down to those elites. And if we go down further, there's a lot more there. So when it comes down to farming, this is probably going to be one of the best dungeons that you could possibly even do when it comes down to that farming aspect. I believe even if you're a low level, this should be available for you. Of course, the lower part of the map where I've shown prior farm spots or some of the exploits, yeah, it, yeah, it just totally is difficult to get to because your level you might need to be at least 40 because I believe one of the ruins there uh, specifically the dungeon I forget the name for it that one specifically does have quite a lot of enemies yet the only issue is that you do need to be at least level 35 to even level 40 to try that out now continuing on with the video you should see right here there's three elites and when I do take them out, there's going to be quite a few rares that have dropped in this section just from the other enemies that were previously there. Now in this next room, there's going to be a few more elites. And there's one thing to note down is that during this whole entire dungeon, you are going to be hunting down those goddess, which are going to be considered elites and elites do spawn down on top of them. So you do have a chance of picking up a legendary rare including a ancestral weapon if you are on tier 4. You can tell right here that there is a good amount of enemies including one of the legendaries that indeed dropped. What I'm going to do now is proceed on towards the left after I swap out this because at this point I'm like I'm not going to risk it because honestly sometimes there are issues where you disconnect or there might be some sort of issue. I believe during this video there's actually a update going on. Uh, but anyways, continuing on, what we're going to see here is an event that you need to absolutely look for when it comes down to acquiring a lot of XP and those legendaries. This can change from time to time. I'm pretty sure these events are not always the exact same. Almost each time it's going to be something completely different. For this event, I'm going to be knocking down a bunch of bells as these waves of enemies spawn in. This is going to give me a chance to acquire a crap ton of XP on top of those legendaries that I just mentioned. And if you have a good build, you will be able to do this solo. I know that that kind of seems like a thing right now. Some people don't know what builds to use. And I personally enjoy my build. I know a lot of people kind of criticize it. They do not like the Blizzard, which I don't know why maybe it's some sort of uh, Diablo veteran hardcore fan out there that's just not happy with it but for the most part I enjoy this build and when I did make a build video about it 
some of you were not excited about it you thought that it was a little iffy because yeah i kind of scattered the stats everywhere but yet this one that i've made currently is updated and it works fantastic as you can tell right here i'm downing waves and waves of enemies hardly taking any damage except for my barrier maybe there's just a slight second there yet once you do complete the event you should see a bunch of gold that you've gathered from just taking out the enemies of course the legendaries can spawn out of the chest in this case there's just rares which i can obviously scrap down and grab the material uh, but let's say that you're done right and what you can do is assign the dungeon to your will and leave once you have left you then want to chill out for at least about i don't know 30 to a minute once you have went to town so for example right here i'm leaving to the town and i'm just going to chill for about a minute and sometimes what i've noticed is that it can be less but to be safe then sorry you should wait it out for at least a minute then go back into the teleporter or the portal and what we're going to do is then go back into the dungeon and you should see that it has been reset this is absolutely good news because you can now refarm all of those legendaries and elites that are there I was recently messing around yesterday so I found this spot and I was like hey I might as well share this because I think a lot of you are going to benefit from this specifically just from all those elites of course each time it does change so you're not going to see the same exact path when you do reset yet you should see the same group of enemies and the same exact similar uh, path when it comes down to it of course I had to dash past the first enemy get to the second group like I mentioned before and to continue on we are going to talk about a Hell's Tide exploit that has nothing to do with the chest I had someone comment yesterday saying that this was actually patched um, it's not at all absolutely not you do want to find an event that's something like this where waves of enemies spawn in because they do drop cinder this is where you're going to benefit from this mainly really this is what you're looking for although you can pick up the obols to of course take it to the vendor and grab some legendaries there the potential chance yet what we're going to do now is just teleport out by clicking t or if you're on console down pad then from there wait it out for about i don't know eight to ten seconds and then go through the teleporter you should see that the event has reset and you can then rinse and repeat this and with all that being said i hope that you all have enjoyed the video and this probably is going to be the improved version because yeah i tried to write a script out and it did not work i love just being original other than uh you know the whole script writing and people just i just feel like a zombie it feels unnatural but Thank you all for currently uh, watching the channel, coming back to watch the videos, and staying subscribed and all that good stuff. Make sure that you have turned the notifications on. If you have any questions, shoot them down below. I will answer to pretty much anything if it's not too ridiculous, I guess. Uh, but thank you to everyone that is currently subscribed and is a member, and thank you all. See you on the next one.